everybody. I wanted to do a share with y'all. This is Melissa, and um, I wanted to share a couple of tags that I've made recently. Um, I watched Rach0113. I subscribe to her, and um, she does multimedia stuff, as y'all know. And I love to make tags, and I love multimedia stuff. So, I saw her make a tag with a picture from the 1800s, a little girl sitting in a chair, and um, immediately when I saw that tag, I thought of my mother. This is a picture of my mother from the 1930s. Her name was Jano Monita West, and uh, when I saw Rachel's tag, I thought, oh my gosh, I need to adapt that to my mom. Now this is not just like hers, but it's, uh, I've taken some of her elements, I hope you don't mind, Rach, thank you very much, and um, I've just adapted this to my mom. I'm doing this with my phone, so it's not going to be the best quality, but it's quicker that way. Um, this is Jano Monita West Plaisance, my mother, and this is her when she was three years old. The way I did it was I used just a piece of heavyweight cream colored cardstock, made my base, painted the back of it brown, and I left the brush strokes and all in it to make it look even more distressed, and uh, proceeded to use Tim Holtz distress inks and crackle paints, etc. So the distress inks that I used, that's the first thing I did, I distressed the tag with faded jeans, um, I used the vintage photo distress ink. Um, I used some glimmer mist. I used sand, vanilla breeze, and pearl. I used crackle paint in tarnished brass, worn lipstick, and I think that's the only two crackle paints I used. I used one of Tim Holtz tickets as you see here. I used a uh, Blue Moon Charm. It's the Lost Collection. And uh, it's a, I'm saying an angel's wing because my mother's no longer with us and she's my angel. And this is a metal flower from spare parts. I just took the center out and put a blue bling in it. So the way I started was to ink the tag. Then I used the tarnished brass crackle paint in these areas as you can see. I punched out um, or actually I cuddle bugged a plate, a fancy plate from, and let me grab it right quick, it's right here, sorry about the camera. I say it's right here, well apparently it's not. Here it is. Sorry guys. This is the 5x7 folder, and I think it's called Fancy Labels, I'm not absolutely sure about the name of it but you guys many bookmakers tag makers etc this is ideal you will love it anyway that's from that cuddle bug folder and I rubbed vintage photo over the embossed areas the raised areas I used a Tim Holtz pen I think it's called a memorabilia pen, I'm not absolutely sure, but um, that's what I put the ticket on, the Tim Holtz ticket. I put worn lipstick around the edges and then I put rock candy 
all over this tag. The only place that I did not put it was on my mom's face because it would distort it. But I am just loving all the crackle and it, it almost looks like broken glass in areas. And with my phone, y'all are not going to be able to see it that well, but trust me, it's there. I use two different types of lays, two thicknesses, and I spray Glimmer Mist in sand on the larger piece in the back. And the top piece, old lace, I believe, is the Glimmer Mist I used. And I use the flat back pearls across. And I didn't use any special adhesive. I just used the adhesive on the pearls, and they have not moved. So, and also, this button is an old button that was my mom's, and it's all tarnished. And then some velvet ribbon that I've had forever. And I just, I love to attach my buttons with paper clips. And this is one of the heart paper clips from Spare Parts, I think. So that's my tag of my mom. And uh, thank you so much, Rachel, from Rach0113. I uh, hope you don't mind that I took your idea and ran with it. I made it my own, but you inspired me. Thank you, girl. And this is my other tag. This is done with the Tim Holtz Regal Crest die. And I started the same way as I did with the other one, with cream cardstock. Ran it through my cuddle bug. I want to say it was the, I'm not absolutely sure which folder it was, but as y'all can, y'all can see it pretty good, I'm sure. Um, I used the Inka Dinka Do Florida Lee stamp with pirate gold embossing powder, and I used old lace or old paper, one of the two stickles. I mounted everything with pop dots and pop squares, and let me tell you what, the dots were a pistol because it's those teeny, teeny, tiny ones that I put behind each leaf, and yes, I put it behind each leaf. Then I took the scraps from the little teeny pop dots and cut them the depth of the banner and stacked them three high, as you can see right there, and used it to pop up the center of the banner. I heavily inked the areas that would look dimensional, so it would look more dimensional. Used the tacky tape to tape down the flat areas and then curled the edges of the banner up. So, as you can see, I use the EK Success Border Punch at the bottom. I call it a top note punch, but it may be a bracket punch, I don't know. And then two different types of lace, and they were glimmer misted with sand and pearl. And I sprayed iridescent gold all over. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. And then I also used pearl glimmer mist. And then just some natural colored fibers. This is a paper clip, the swirl paper clip, and I knocked the shine off with alcohol, ink, and pearl. And then on the back, I inked the back, and I just put, with my cuddle bug, I cut out the stamp shape, and then embossed it, and just put the date. So there's my tags. I hope y'all like them. And um, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment area. Thanks for watching. Bye.